So I have a super delicious and super simple recipe for vegan Mapo tofu, and um, it's essentially crumbled silken tofu, and then you have this really nice, like, spicy ragu sauce up on top. And the recipe is just so easy and quick to make, probably 15 minutes, and then you guys have yourself dinner. So um, I can't wait to show you guys this really easy, but really, really great recipe. So let's head over to the kitchen, and then let's get started. Alrighty guys, so you want to start off by heating about a teaspoon of vegetable oil in a pan over medium heat and then to that you want to add two teaspoons of minced garlic as well as one teaspoon of finely grated ginger and then you just want to cook that for about a minute just until you know some of the flavors come out. And then this is the dough banjang. So this is the chili bean sauce that is classically the flavor. This is what you add to basically mapo tofu and you can add two tablespoons if you want. I added one tablespoon because it was a little bit spicy and it's basically like a soybean chili paste sauce and you just want to cook that for about 30 seconds again up until the um, flavors come out and then after that add a half a cup of vegan beef crumbles and I can put a link below down to um, the brands that I usually like and then you just want to cook that for about a minute leave it on medium put it on the side okay so I've prepared a half a cup of vegan chicken stock with that better than bouillon mix that I've included and I'll put that link down below as well um, one tablespoon of cornstarch as well as about two teaspoons of um, sugar and then this is the gluten-free soy sauce from Lee Kum Kee that I've been using a lot of lately I kind of like it a lot for a general soy sauce so one teaspoon of that it doesn't have too many preservatives in it so you're just gonna mix that together and this is going to be the sauce that thickens everything up okay so that probably took about a minute and then you just want to pour all of that into the beef crumbles you want to probably turn it up to about medium high so that everything will thicken but before that just put in one tub of your silken tofu so this is traditionally done with uh, silken tofu it's just more soft and more comforting that way but if you guys like you know a more stiff tofu you can certainly use uh, more of the firmer style and if you guys can see as it's cooking and as it's thickening I am not stirring too too much because I don't want to break up those tofu curds they're uh, very soft and obviously you know very fragile so I'm kind of pushing from the edge to the center and it's kind of like a very gentle folding technique so after everything is thickened you just want to turn off the heat and then put in your final flavoring so a teaspoon of sesame oil and then an eighth of a teaspoon of Sichuan peppercorns and um, the reason you want to just shut the heat off is that these are just the flavoring ingredients and you don't want to cook it too too much to kind of disrupt any of the flavor and then a quarter cup of green scallions they are not just for color but it really provides that pop of freshness that you really like and then again you you know, just really gently stirring all of that in. So I'm just plating that up right now and this guy goes perfectly well with just like a bowl of warm white rice or you can put it over quinoa or something that you want and then I topped it off with a little bit more scallions and then some red uh, chili peppers just for photos you guys know that I don't like spice uh, too too much so I will probably be picking those off later. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this really quick, really simple, really easy recipe. It is delicious every single time. So um, I hope that you guys do um, eventually make it for dinner. As usual, if you want to see more recipes like this, remember to hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you guys again next time. Bye!